In this episode of Hashtag Debate, there may be a new threat on the bus depots in Singapore. As there are newer depots in Singapore to be built and replaced by older bus depots, there are some places that happen to pop out of nowhere. As this video will be in a longer duration, then we will break down into the following. The replacement bus depots, how many new bus depots we need, and the reshuffle and allocation of bus package. As of 2024, there are four bus depots will be replacing the older depots in Singapore. The new bus depots will be 100% owned by the LTA, and the winning operator will get to run the region under a tender contract. With brand new facilities such as parking lots, maintenance pay, and OCC, each region will not be crammed amongst one another compared to the past. There will be a proper allocation of selected bus services that is suitable for new depot with the capacity. Although some regions such as Sengkang West, Kim Chuan, East Coast, and Kalibatu has their depot, other areas in Singapore still operate in the older depot. Even though all bus depots belong to the LTA under bus contracting model or the BCM, it feels not that modern when the law takes over the older bus depots. As times go by, there will be a proper replacement from the older depot into a newer depot with modern facilities. However, even though there are new bus depots going on to replace the older depots, there are newer multi story depots before any proper basket package to be allocated. The latest bus depot, Simpang Ishun Multi Story Depot, has been called up by the LTA for tender to construct. Three other bus depots, Tengah, Pasir Panjang, and Long Halus, are confirmed new bus depots by the LTA. How many new depots do we need? Singapore is in a big country where there are plenty of new bus services around the island. Therefore, what's with the new bus depots popping up out of nowhere? The arguments that these upcoming bus depots are to replace the existing bus depots such as Ulu Pandan, Bulim, and Amokyo. According to the URA, these bus depots were classified as reserve land and no longer a transport facilities category. Meaning, the Singapore law will allocate any category to reclaim the current land of the bus depot, such as Bulim, where Tengah bus depot will be the replacement and the current land will be used as a business park. However, as Seletar and Mandai are still new bus depots, the Simpang Issue bus depot is a random bus depot with no allocation into the bus package. So, does this mean the LTA will reshuffle the bus package into the upcoming bus depot in Singapore? Many of you on Discord have brought some suggestions to see which bus services will end up in the new bus depots. Some recommendations such as Tengah bus depot with bus services in Jurong East, Tengah, and Bukit Batu. Meanwhile, services 96, 284, 282, and 285 will transfer to Ulu Pandan Depot as Clementi Region with bus services from Bona Vista and Gimo with upcoming Beauty World. With the greater catchment in the Tengah Region, there will be up to 4 bus interchanges in the future. And here are the other bus services as suggested, including Simpang Yishun Bus Depot. Today, there are no further details on how would the LTA arrange these bus packages in the upcoming new bus depots. There isn't any law regarding reshuffling the bus package such as bus services in Sembawang and Ishun and the Simpang Ishun from Seleta and Mandai respectively. The LTA will renew these standard bus services under the next contract term with the upcoming bus depot. What do you think? Should we need a new bus package with the upcoming new bus depot? Leave a comment down below. Thank you for watching this episode of Hashtag Debate. Do leave a like, comment, share and subscribe.